So I really needed to sort my space out, to move the furniture, to organise everything and to have zones. I wanted an art space zone. So I've actually created a calm office space as well, which I absolutely love. And I've been editing this video for you in there. My main intention was to create space. So whether that be wall space, floor space, tabletop space, and also to have things in zones. So I've got my arty zone, my journaling space, my office space, which was desperately needed, and even a thinking space, a space to flip through some books and get some inspiration, or just sit and think and have a nice cup of tea. And it's not about being a minimalist either, not for me anyway. And I'm, I don't want to be a maximalist either, but I just want to be a, you know, use what you have -ist, if you like. And so you've got to keep the stuff moving and that includes the big stuff and the small stuff. And when you move the big stuff around, sweep in all the nooks and crannies and move the energy around. I think that's a really important part of the process. I mean, as it is, start to finish, this process has taken me one, two, three days. And this will be my fourth day but i'm not going to be spending all day doing it i'm probably going to tweak a couple of things and i'll show you everything in a minute as well i'm kind of trying to get my hair out my face today i feel like some um rejigging going on in the studio but if i do it without james here and i move anything heavy he's gonna yeah he's gonna tell me off but i kind of feel like having a little bit of a, a rejig i might have a little tidy up before I get to the rejig. James is away till Friday. I think my biggest pondering in the studio is to actually move the, what was the art journaling nook, and I was using quite a lot in maybe a year, year and a half ago now. But I'm thinking about moving that over to this wall here, just zoom out a little bit, and maybe getting rid of this table. I don't really need that. It's just a temporary pop-up table anyway. Or maybe move that table where that table is and then that table can be on standing mode and then maybe go here or in the shop and then i've got my electric standing table i'm gonna sec yeah this one a standing desk which kind of works on that so i could move that and have that one over here because it would be kind of nice to have you know an adjustable situation i think on my main table so i'm gonna have a rejig of tables i think and then you know obviously slot the plant babies around all that so that's my ponderings anyway so if i just have a little tidy up by the time james gets back and then we can move furniture together which makes a lot of sense So I drove myself in today and last week I drove myself in twice so I kind of feel like I released something with doing that. I wouldn't say I feel back to normal but you know what is normal? Tell me what normal is anyway. So anyway you can see what kind of mood I'm in. A little bit silly which is a good thing I think in our current climbs. Yes. So we've got to clear this desk. Yeah. Collapse it. Yeah. We've got to clear this this bit here. Okay just a second. Second. Yeah. And collapse that. Yeah. Um, and then we've got to go down the far end, take everything off the journaling table there. Okay. And then we've got to move everything around. Yeah. And then we organise the chaos. We are space limited. Um, you want to set up the trestle table here. You want the day bed where the big table is. You want the big table down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's just the fact that the, the big table has so much stuff on it. I was trying to work out whether we could move the day bed to one side, start setting up the trestle table. I'm trying to minimize the amount of stuff we're having to lift twice, three times. A lady. I'll be showing them the room yet. Okay, I'll give you a little tour. Here's a room tour. Start there, and then I'm going to do a nice little slow turn so you don't get dizzy. 
and then a little bit more nice and clean <laughs> it's a bit positive and then yeah let's have a let's have a chat me and you to get some logistics worked out right we'll be back in a bit okay we have storage vessels okay what have you got oh like right, you got stuff down there First job was just get the white table out. Yeah. The table looks massive. <laughs> Thanks, Bubba. You know what? When I first moved in here, I had it there. I didn't like it. We've got a lot of books, and I don't want to leave Wendy having to move heavy things. Yes, we won't leave. And the room looks like, um, what does the room look like? Chaos. Yeah, he doesn't want to leave me like this, even though I think it's okay. Yes, there's a lot to organise, but I'm okay with that. But the books are heavy and he doesn't want me to leave me because there's a lot. So we're just going to try and put the book... Shoehorn. What's that mean? Shoehorn this into there. <gasps> okay, so I'm in the way now, aren't I? No. So you no. Ex no. Yeah, you explain what we're doing. I'm not going to say anything about detaching anything. <laughs> <laughs> So as it turns out, yeah. this this little shelving unit almost fits under there. So we're going to take the shelf off the wall, put it on top of here, and then that'll fit in there. Library nook. Library nook. What's this? My YouTube thing. Why is it hiding? <laughs> Wendy Robinson, I award the silver platter. i have to cut that. It's a little bit dirty. It's very dusty. I'll clean it. I'll clean, clean it. I'll clean it. I will. <laughs> I like a good ratchet. Looks like nothing's changed. It's a prototype. I was thinking about different ways of creating shelves because it's always a bit of a bugbear for me. Just create something that's strong, that takes weight. Anyway, I had this idea just using um, a, couple of, a couple of slots. Oh, nice, yeah. Nice, yeah, nice, is it? Oh, yeah, look at that. Obviously, it ends up with a little bit of cardboard on the outside. I like it, though. But, is, it, is it for me or is it for the shop? You and the shop are one and the same. No, no, is it for over there or over here? Oh, it's for over there. For the shop then. Huh? I can make you one. Yeah, alright. Another little um, hint from the cardboard king. Tips and prototips. What's a prototype? Prototype. Oh. <laughs> so I've come into the studio today, it's Saturday, to surprise Wendy by creating some new storage for postcards. As you can see, we are fully loaded and um, yeah, we're out of space basically. We need some more room for new postcards that are, uh, are gonna arrive in the store very soon. So um, look out for those. Anyway, I will show you the process. We've started with a basic cardboard box and we're gonna create some layers to it, some levels to it and uh, divide it out and uh, give us room for storage. 
Cheers to everyone. Welcome again the spring and equinox. So I've just been working a few things out so far. I am creating a support around the sides, around the back. I've created my first shelf. So that's going to support the next layer in, on three sides, which because this box is so narrow, I can't fit a vertical support here. So I'm going with three supports. See how it goes. Found on and have a little chat before I start. Oh, I can do that. That's good. <laughs> am I a little bit overwhelmed? Maybe I am, but I think we can guess what I'm going to be doing today. There was just too much stuff everywhere, and I feel like I need to get rid of a little bit of furniture, do a little bit of decluttering, a little bit of that spring cleaning, spring refreshing. I tend to do this more in the autumn. So at the autumn equinox, I tend to get into that mode. That's kind of like a big letting go and decluttering, which I guess makes sense if you think about the way trees, you know, release their leaves. And in spring, you know, we've got new things. So perhaps that might be time for me to, you know, get some new things in here. I've said it before, I am definitely a, I can't really say minimalist, can I, with, um, you know, what's going on around me, but I'm an aspiring have what you needest like i'm definitely not a maximalist i just think that what we have should be either what we absolutely love so it inspires us or what we use what we actually need we shouldn't have stuff that just clogs up our spaces if that makes sense we should let that go and then that creates new spaces and that's another thing i want to do in here i want to create new spaces in here to allow good things to come in for the changing of the seasons and you know our natural cycles go with that as well so i'm just going with what i feel. I'm going to give you a whiz round just to show you the before. James really helped me out in the sense that he got the big things in situ and some of the heavier items and you might think oh is Wendy being a bit of a wimp and stuff. I do have some health issues I've mentioned on here before. It's very fibromyalgia type symptoms but I don't have a lot of energy at the moment either so that combined with these fibromyalgia symptoms can be you know a little bit challenging sometimes to navigate and I know I'm not the only one so I do feel you out there and sometimes it's hard isn't it to explain invisible illnesses it can feel harder to navigate sometimes because they ebb and flow so we're kind of in and out with it I definitely have more energy in the mornings which is why I kind of try and get my stuff done in the mornings so that's what I'm going to do today so let's start then with a little look around the room and then we can get busy and we can get on with it because this is fun this is part of nesting and I'm revitalizing my creative space so that's a massive big deal to me and I've got quite a lot of space to play with as well so I'm very very lucky so this corner is kind of looking pretty good and if I just swivel around a little bit as well you can see I've got stuff everywhere over that side of the room but you know even down here you know we've got a clear floor which is great and I love it clear under there as well you can see plant babies everywhere too that's one of the things I need to work out 
is rehoming the plant babies, which is a little bit of a priority because they like a certain amount of light. So, and it's very bright in here. So some of them need more of a shady place, if you like. Yeah, this is the kind of the main table now, which is absolutely huge. So we'll be working on that. And then, yeah, say no more, really. I'm gonna get rid of this table here because it's just got to go. I think sometimes you know when we watch these videos on YouTube the decluttering type kind of tidy up videos it's really inspiring so that's good but at the same time it's not as realistic as it might be because things take thinking time is kind of what I'm saying so I'm gonna have a little cup of tea and a ponder and I thought I'll just mention that within this because it's easy to misjudge something the realisticness of something on the internet isn't it and that's becoming more and more weird you know as the AI thing comes in and you know things is it real or is it not real I can guarantee you that everything on this platform to do with me won't be AI no So here we are, I've just brought you under the table <laughs> because I've been dusting all this. You know, because it's spring, I, uh, I'm literally doing a proper clean. So suffice to say, it's very therapeutic to get into the nooks and crannies that we don't normally get into. I've got a kneeling mat as well for comfort. Even the lens is getting a clean. <laughs> you need a little polish as well. You do. So I've done quite a bit without you. I don't think I filmed at all yesterday. Sorry about that. But I didn't want to make this video too long. And also it would be quite boring, you know, going through absolutely everything. So I didn't want to bother you with that. I really feel I've achieved my quest, if you like, was to kind of create the organization and zoning in the room that I needed. And so I love for me personally, having my space messy and I need my art supplies out. I think I've, you know, talked about that on here before. I like to be able to see what I've got and not have everything tucked away in cupboards and drawers. That, that just doesn't work for me. Especially, you know, when you work mixed media like I do. So you'll have to let me know if you're similar in the comments or if you like everything tucked away. We're all unique, aren't we? But saying that, I also needed a space where I could think where I could have a space, if you like. And so that's partly why I've cleared that back wall of all the bits and bobs. I had artwork and drawings and paintings up there. And I think I'm gonna leave it blank. And you may or may not understand that. My main intention was to create space 
So whether that be wall space, floor space, tabletop space, I think it allows new things to come in. And also to have things in zones. So I've got my arty zone, my journaling space, my office space, which was desperately needed. And even a thinking space, a space to flip through some books and get some inspiration, or just sit and think and have a nice cup of tea. And of course, I've still got my creative space where I can make a mess. My wet area, as I call it, which is an enormous easel, which if you've been here a little while, you'll probably have seen before. And also I've extended my table space over there. So I've got more space to do all my mixed media, journaling and pages and all that kind of thing as well, rather than that be sort of tucked all the way over here, if that makes sense. It's all together now. So I've zoned it better, organized it better. It's still a work in progress, as I think we all are, and I like that. And so I'm not gonna ergonomically fit everything together until I start working in the different zones. And then I can reorganize some of my art supplies, which I've probably got in the wrong space at the moment. So I haven't spent a long time doing that, but I have compartmentalized the stuff, if you like. And I've also got rid of some stuff as well. I mean, it's not been a massive declutter, and I feel like I could swoop through a second layer and declutter some stuff. But that wasn't the intention of this. It would have felt too overwhelming if I tried to do everything at once. I mean, as it is, start to finish, this process has taken me one, two, three days, and this will be my fourth day. But I'm not gonna be spending all day doing it. I'm probably gonna tweak a couple of things, and I'll show you everything in a minute as well. There's three things that I'm most excited about with my room transformation. One being, I've got a bigger art space to work at. Another being I've got a really fantastic, cosy, cute, peaceful, calm office space. And the third thing I think I'm really excited about is that I've created space in the room as well for new things to come in, for growth, for creativity, and whatever else magic and miracles wants to come in. So if I start by just giving you a kind of quick spin around the room, Not too quick though, because I don't want you to be dizzy, but that's kind of where I got to, up to that sort of corner there. And it's nice to have a corner to store easels and paintings and I put my tripods there as well, out the way when I'm not using them. I'm not gonna do like a full detailed room tour or anything like that, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of my ideas behind, you know, how I've made the decisions and organised everything, if you like. I think it can be helpful, can't it, to see inside other people's brains. Because reorganising a space, especially when it's a working space and quite a complex one like this one, it can, it can be quite overwhelming, can't it? Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to start this end with the shop first of all, because this is all the shelving that the Cardboard King, aka James, has built. And it's absolutely custom made. So if I've got square cards, greetings cards, postcards, mini prints, he is creating the right sizes. I mean, it keeps everything org organized and it makes sh packing shop orders really easy, but also it does look really cute as well. It's very easy on the eye. And the new shelving here, which we need to move into, and then also the, the new design. I can just show you that as well with his slide out shelf, which I do really like. So this is unfinished, but I'm creating a space for him. And he said to me, don't clear any more space on these shelves for the shop, but I feel like it needs it. So we're getting new, new things in, so we're gonna need those. Moving on then. A space for all the lilies. The lilies seem to absolutely love the light here. It's like a lily jungle. And I like my mirror there because it's kind of on the corner and I do use my mirror to hold up paintings and dance about a bit, do yoga, but also it reflects the light back from the window. So it's a really good use of a mirror. I've tried my pothos in a few spaces, so I'm gonna see if he's happy there. He's been a bit unhappy in a few of the spots. Yes. Now this is my most favorite thing really about the room is, is the creation of my new office space. And I've got, you know, I've got somewhere comfy to sit. I've got an office desk and that's, you can actually stand there as well, which is really nice when I'm editing. I really, really love the fact that it's actually quite plain and there's not a load of stuff. So there is some bookshelves and some storage and I'll show you that in a sec, but as an overall kind of look, it's, yeah just perfect for me. And I think what works even better, and I'm just gonna show you from the other end of the room as well. So, are we straight? 
I think they are. Yeah, so what works even better for me is having all my art, all my creativity over there. You know, the light is optimum over there as well, even though it's lovely in the nook, there's plenty of light and I have filmed art videos in the nook and it's been fine. But I think that abundance of light, you have to make use of the extra light in that part of the studio. If you've been here a while, you'd have seen my wet area before and this isn't a full tour so I'm not going to show you everything and you'll also notice that this table here is now much much bigger. It was my art journaling table in the nook. It gives me much more space to actually spread out and do my creativity and I'm, I've kind of got an L shape going on which I really really love. So going back to my office then you can see I have got my just try, I'll try not to wobble you around too much. Let's zoom out a little bit and then you can see a bit better. But yeah, it's really, really plain. And I've left my kind of, what was my vision board. I've taken a few things off and moved some things upwards as well, because this desk, as I, as I said, it's quite a tall one. It's a standing desk, which is why I've got a taller chair as well, kind of like a cafe bar stool thing. And, and the good thing about that is it's not incredibly comfy. So after about half an hour sitting, I get up and stand. So if I'm editing, which is kind of hours and hours on end, then it, it keeps me moving, if you like. So it's actually conducive to my physical health. And then, you know, I've got the basic things. I've got a little space for my typewriter, which is quite a new addition. Notice board, uh, things to be finalized, you know, some bits and bobs. A uh, little bit of desk storage, notepad, and if I move this, I really, really love that I can just stuff that under there, and then I've got my standing desk, and the chair's not in the way, and I've got all this lovely floor space to, you know, dance around, throw my yoga mat down, you know, whatever I feel like. And as I said, you know, I really, really wanted to optimise space, create some empty spaces, because I think it's really conducive to creativity. You know, that thought of bringing the new stuff in, you can't bring new stuff in if you haven't got space for it so and it's not about being a minimalist either not for me anyway and I'm, I don't want to be a maximalist either but I just want to be a you know use what you have -ist, if you like because I think that everything that we have and we use it should be useful to us or we should absolutely love it it should be something that, you know that's really really special so you're allowed to keep it but I think you know if you haven't got space for it or maybe you've downsized you know I moved into a van and that was really really difficult to downsize a three bedroom house into a van and so when we sort of came out of that sort of van life days of 10 years or so we have settled back into life and I have a completely different view on stuff nowadays and so I love to have my art books you know I let all my books go when I moved into my van and we did keep some things you know in storage but I let a lot of stuff go and James did as well actually having a space now for my bookshelves and some proper heavy big books is is awesome I really love that and I appreciate it a lot but at the same time I don't want to have books that I don't read you know on the shelf and some of these are the kind of books that you flick through for inspiration and you know and th those are really really important to have I think in your creative space aren't they you, you want to keep refreshed you want to keep inspired and so you've got to keep the stuff moving and that includes the big stuff and the small stuff and when you move the big stuff around sweeping all the nooks and crannies you know like we have and and move the energy around I think that's a really important part of the process and if you saw me move into any of my studios you will have seen me face shui the spaces you know by doing a plan and then mapping out the bagua map on there i really love doing that and so that that's another idea another thing you can do if you're into all that but we know from experience that when we clean a room it feels different so you've shifted something the energy has changed allow the chi the energy to move around i think that's a really important part of the feel of a room and when we walk in we don't want to feel overwhelmed and that was what was happening to me which is why i've created this lovely office space anyway back to the other view <laughs> So this was one of the pieces of furniture that I did actually keep in storage and it was a gift from James. It's like a, a French antique day bed and we got it off eBay for I think it was £60 and one of the little um, wings flips down and you can actually lay flat on it. So if I wanted a nap, I could actually have a nap on that, which is lovely. But the reason I keep that in here, apart from having somewhere comfy to sit, is when I'm editing, I love to, you know, either stand at that standing desk or I can sit there with my with my legs up. 
I can edit and I can get my neck comfy and that's really important so yeah. So down here I have created some storage without spending anything. You saw James tuck in that little shelf. So that brown shelf was already there, but we've tucked that in. So I've got bookshelf. That cupboardy shelf was already there. And I've added in three boxes that I've stacked, three wooden boxes, just for some extra storage, which fitted perfectly at the end. And then at this end, I've got all my little canvas squares in a box and stacked. So that has created this half height storage unit, if you like. And I, ha I haven't spent a penny. I ha it's gonna be absolutely no spend, this revamp, which I love. I think it forces us to be even more creative, doesn't it? I've also got the YouTube award, which James was like, you must put that up on the wall. So there you go. So I'll just quickly show you a little bit of what I've got, but I've done journals, books, and then I've got some more books across here. I've got some sewing baskets, which are really fun, because I use a lot of ribbons and lace and bits and bobs in my journaling. And I've got a couple of spaces. So empty space, is really, really nice. And as I say, it's been one of my priorities. And then I've also got on the top, I've got plant baby heaven on here, lots of plants. That's the beast. And my jasmine, which my old boss bought me when I moved house into my other flat. And then I've put Mr. Poffus, another Mr. Poffus up there. So hopefully he'll be happy. Anyway, I've got a plant, and some more storage up there. Again, there's some space. It's not all crammed in together. And then on the floor, I've got my sewing machine there for now, although it does live in that box there on this shelf. You know, having spaces to do that is absolutely brilliant. I've got my tech basket down there. So I put all my wires and bits and bobs. And that is my little desk tour, as I said before. So we've done full circle. So no more journaling nook, but if I want to do some writing and journaling, I've got that table there. I can do my typewriter. And those pictures at the end, I'm pondering on putting them up on the wall, but I think I'm going to leave that wall blank because I really like that kind of breathing space. And so I'll find a home for those. They're just there for now. And then looking the other way, I've got my art table, which is massively long. I'm not even sure how long that is, but it's pretty big and I absolutely love it. And I need to sort out all this stuff. But as I said, I don't like my art supplies tucked away. So I, I put things in trays and then I can stack and change things around really, really quickly. I've got all my pencil crayons and you know how I organize those for working. Projects that I'm currently working on. And again, to say about this, you know, it's a work in progress. So I need to actually start working here before I know what bits and bobs I want to hand. And then I can tuck a few things away. I've got an art trolley here, which is pretty empty at the moment. There's a few collagey, papery type things on there and I hang my, my rags and things. And then I've got paints this end arty condiments as I call them, my inks or some of my inks and then you know a place, space to put my palette and my brushes and work. Paintings that I'm working on, I'm going to clear all this, everything that's stuck up, I'm going to clear it all and give it a complete refresh but for now that's what it looks like and I thought I'll be completely transparent and share that with you and then I've got this box which is full of collagey bits and bobs that I use and you know I can put that anywhere you know but for now it's on there because I want to sort it and then that's the other end of my table brushes palettes rags my kitchen area lol <laughs> and some more arty condiments as well as you know where I can store my bits and bobs up there as well. I think lastly, just to say, you know, I've got all this floor space, which I love to work on the floor and I've got a special kind of cushioned mat and a yoga mat so I can spread out on the floor and it's so nice to be able to just do that. So, and all in there as well, that floor space is just absolutely making me so happy. I can't tell you, I really can't, so. Mm. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Happy organising and spring cleaning if you get to it, if you feel like it. I hope this has inspired you a little bit. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Try to keep your lights shining bright and I will see you really, really soon in the next video. Bye for now.